support them in the scriptures. Right. So it cannot be minimalized the impact right. that that has or else the Bible wouldn't have told us that this happened in other instances nearly 3,000 years ago. Exactly. Right? So we can't gaslight that and we can't minimalize that, right? So let, let, let's do a history lesson. They say the people in Africa come from the Hamites, right? They are the descendants of Ham. That's what they say, right? Now, last I checked, the Israelites inhabited the land of Canaan. Right, right. Last I checked, Canaan is the son of Ham. Right. So the people that you're identifying and calling African, the Bible say inhabit the very land that Jesus came from. Right. More than that, a Cushite, Nimrod, is who built Babel. Babylon is even further east from Africa right. than Israel is. Exactly. So the Bible clearly talks about people who would now be classified as African inhabiting the ancient Middle East. Right. So to say that Jesus isn't African is to totally deny what the Bible says about African people being in rulership and power and populating right. places in Israel where Jesus is from and places even further east all the way to Iraq. Right, right. Give me in, in, in Wisdom of Solomon 14. God, the, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, well, chapter 14, verse 12. Uh -huh. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. So this, where, where it sees that, this is the beginning of spiritual fornication. Exactly. This can't be gaslit. This can't be minimalized. What's happened here? It is the beginning of spiritual fornication. Read. It says, for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. This corrupts people's lives. This can't just be looked over, glanced over. Oh, I mean, you know, it's just, it's not that important. No, this corrupts lives. 